Can you recall a time, a time when you had to make a really big, big decision and that you started talking to people? You explained to them about what you were thinking about doing. And when you explained to them, you, you created almost two camps. You had your naysayers, people who didn't believe in what you were going to do. And uh, perhaps we're trying to undermine your confidence. And then in the other camp, you've got the people that really do believe in what you're going to do and get behind you. And for me, that's been a real transformational experience. Having people that were willing to support you. Because when you believe in something so strongly, that's the thing that moves mountains because you have belief. No one can take that away from you until someone steps in, starts to talk to you and starts to talk you out of the very thing that you believe in. So it makes it so important to surround yourself with people that really move you forward, that give you lots of encouragement that believe in you and that gives you, it's almost as if they're passing their energy onto you because you can feel the motivation in what it is that they have to say. It becomes a real transformational experience because someone's saying to you, you can do it. I believe in you, you can do it. And I think we all need that especially when we're starting something new, especially when we're starting a business. And I know what's made me grow in my business dealing is having people around me that have helped me grow. And I've watched what they've done and they've been the first to step in and want to give me good advice. So you have to surround yourself with people that share your values people that want to move you forward in life and are prepared and have had the experience and are prepared to step in and to help and guide you. I think if you've got people like that who share your values, who are on a very similar journey to the one that you want to go on, then that's the encouragement you need. Because having belief, having belief is absolutely everything. You are defeated, even at the very earliest stage, if you don't believe. If you don't believe, you're not going to commit. You'll not be dedicated. You'll have no determination. There will be no discipline. Above all else, you're looking for someone to tell you not to do something. Well, that's not belief. Belief is feeling passionate, having desire for something. There's a calling inside. No one can really explain what it is. It's just that the sheer thought, it's a bit like, almost a bit like being in love. Remember when you first fell in love? It didn't matter what hair those people put in front of you. You wanted to share something with that person that you were in love with. When you have a belief, you're sharing that kind of feeling again. You feel as if you can't explain it to anybody the way you feel, the way you feel so much in love with that person or within that thing that you want to do. Perhaps they don't see it the way that you see it, but you know, you have the calling. It's the belief within you. It's the thing that makes you get up in the morning and want to go to where to do the thing to achieve the thing that the, the very thing that you need to do to fulfill your potential to become the person who you want to be so that's been so transformational with me i think what i did i think very effective or effectively maybe 20 25 years ago is that when I went into business, I surrounded myself with people. I started a business that brought those kind of people in to me. People that were on a similar kind of journey.
And it was interesting listening to their stories and how they overcome problems. They were people that found solutions, not people that put obstacles in the way. So I didn't have to make that step forward. So I stopped what I was doing, stopped what was naturally calling me to go forward. You know, there's so much truth in the fact that if something comes so easy for you, then you won't discipline yourself to do it. But the fact of the matter is, if you're willing, you're determined, and you're, you want to put the, the work into the very thing that you need to achieve, you're more inclined to finish the course. It is the difference between when people talk about someone who has natural talent or somebody that has to work towards that talent to get where they need to be. I found when people have a natural flair or a natural talent for something, they don't always appreciate what, what it is that they're capable of doing. So they don't understand the resilience. They don't understand the dedication, the determination, that get knocked down six times, I'm going to get back up seven, kind of mindset, kind of attitude to move yourself forward. They don't understand that. But the person, the person that nurtures themselves, that's prepared to get up in the morning, maybe go for the early morning run, the pre person that's prepared to push themselves is the one that will break through those barriers, those barriers that we set ourselves. And sometimes we keep pushing and pushing and pushing and we can't quite break through. We're trying to break through. We keep on practicing, but we remain at that level. And all of a sudden you burst through. Maybe after months and months of consistent, persistent practice, you break through. And all of a sudden, these small little changes you made give you great impact in the things that you can deliver, the person that you can become. But that takes someone to believe in you. And it has to come from you, first of all. You have to believe in you. And the transformational experience to help you through that is to surround yourself with people that will give you good counsel, with people that are on a similar kind of journey to you, similar type of experience, but also are willing to push through their barriers that they've set themselves and that they need to push themselves through. By surrounding yourself with those kind of people, they're going to help you. Because you're always going to have the naysayers, naysayers, the people that are going to run you down, the people that say that you can't do it, you can't achieve it. You need those people in your life. I'm, um, I'm such a great believer in practice because for me, practice does so much for you. Not only makes you better at what it is, that you're doing I think it does more for you than just that I think what it does it teaches you to resolve problems that's what practice does it teaches you to address the things where you're failing to face them head on and then the more you practice gives you the ability then to overcome that's what it is it's that ability to nurture something within you that your heart sings for, the thing that you want to achieve, the thing that you want to reach for. And it doesn't matter how old, how young you are. It's important to have that thing and that, can, that thing to continually reach for. And that's why it's so important for you and within this group for you to create a sense of community around the people that you are that you're experiencing the world with so you can learn from them share their experiences and listen to their perspective and people that are really going to push you on i can't explain to you or begin to express to you having people that believe in you and tell you you can do because i think we all go through a moment where we doubt ourselves and we ask that very question Am I capable of doing this? And when I've explained myself, 
and I've had feedback and it's, you, you know, it's been from the family and uh, my close family. So I'm talking about my wife and my kids and I've explained what I was going to do. And if they listen to me, um, I've been fortunate enough to receive good counsel uh, where they, they've said to me, you know, it sounds like a great idea. And if, if, if there's anybody that can do it, I know it's you. I know you can do it. So I think it's so, so important to surround yourself with people, but not just yes people, people that you can receive good counsel from. I think when it's come to my immediate family, they've seen the way I work and they all know the commitment that I do. They all know the passion that I bring to it. And what they must do is measure against that yardstick the effort that I will produce to get to where I will, where I want to be. And I think that is the important thing, surrounding yourself with those people, not with naysayers and not with people that are just going to nod their head, but people who will want to help you onto the next rung of the ladder, will help you, guide you, will listen to you and be able to advise you, but also question you. When you think that you may be taking the wrong decision so you can go back and reflect on the decisions that you're taking at this moment in time. There's no right way and there is no wrong way. But what I can definitely, definitely say to you is this. If you do nothing, then that's the worst thing you will ever do. It's better that today you take some form of action. The thing that you really want to do, it doesn't matter how small it is. Test yourself to see if you can do it. And if you can do it, that will be the catalyst that moves you forward. Because from the experience, you will learn from it. You will have a look at it and say, that could have been better. But I know now, and next time I'm going to do X, Y, Z. Or you'll look at that and say, God, that turned out far better than what I'd ever thought. The point is, you took action. And after taking action, surround yourself with those people. And through the action that you take, the positivity that you take, you will create belief in yourself. For me, belief is one of the most transformational things that you can have in life. It has the, the ability to really change things for you, to really move your life forward. I think for me, when we talk about life moving forward, we're talking about degrees of success. And I've seen degrees of success because success will mean many different things to many different people. But if you talk to people about success, what they won't talk about is money. I mean, really successful people, they're talking about something that they love, they feel passionate about, and it's so easy to do what they're doing because they feel that thing inside, the thing that calls you on a daily basis, tells you what it is that you would like to do, guides you, your belief system. They'll tell you that's the thing that motivates them every day because they're answering that call and the money just follows as a consequence to the thing that they're doing and they feel so passionate about. That's belief. Belief is transformational. I hope, whatever you believe, that you take action on what it is that you really would like to do. Because none of us want to have that feeling of regret Imagine being in a situation today. I don't know how old you all are, but imagine being in a situation today that you're in an old people's home. And the doctor said to you something like, you know, he's probably got, or she's probably got two or three months left. And during those two or three months, you're full of regret. Full of regret for the things that you wanted to do. The things that your heart sung about and you were yearning to do and told you about them every day, but you chose to ignore them. And then you knew as you were in a home for the elderly, you knew 
But the only person you let down was you because you didn't believe. I think it's better to have stood up and fallen, just like when you learned to walk. You stood up, you tried to balance your head, your shoulders, your hips, your gait, the stride, the size of your step, the way your foot contacted the floor. You took all these decisions into consideration and you fell. But you didn't say, oh, I failed now, I'm not going to do it anymore. You tried to do it again. And through the constant part, a part of your practice, you learned the gait, the stride, the way you held your head, your balance. You put it all together and you began to walk. That's belief. That's belief. And you've got to capture that again. Because the worst thing that can ever happen is that you wake up in an old person's home and suddenly realize that the very things that you wanted to do with the short time we have as we pass through this experience we know as life, is to wake up crying in an old person's home for the things that you didn't do because you didn't go through the belief experience and surround yourself with the people that believe in you. And that also means another thing. It means that the people that talk negatively about you the people have not got a nice word to say about you, regardless of how close they're meant to be. Sometimes we've got to drop those people in life. We have to experience growth. And growth can be uncomfortable. It's a bit like the yin and the yang. The yin being female and the yang male. And... <clears throat> You've got the black with the female, white, male. That's the two fishes, I'm sure you can see it in your head now, that are finally balanced together. And one of those, it's a deeper conversation, I'm not going to go into it all now, one of those is chaos, and one of those is order. And for growth, you need one foot. You need one foot in order, and you need one foot in chaos. The foot, and order, the foot and order is to give you the feeling of st stability and structure. The foot and chaos is to give you the feeling of personal development and growth. The foot in order is your belief system. And the foot in the chaos is the foot where you hope to grow and create new beliefs. And suddenly, when you have these breakthrough moments, because you've constantly practiced, 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 and practiced all the time, you suddenly have these breakthrough moments where everything comes together. You can't take a foot wrong. It's like being in love and sharing everything with the person that you love constantly all the time. You're doing something you love, and you're getting this reciprocal uh, crossity. Oh, I can't even pronounce that right, but, you know, it's reciprocal. Uh, everything's coming back at you. In fact, it's so easy. You've got all this energy, and it seems to be coming back at you. That's because you're walking the fine line between the order and the chaos, and it's just streaming along because you've got that balance right. That is the being flow. My job as a flow coach is to find, you find that fine line. So you walk the line between chaos and you walk the line between order, male and female, as you push forward, overcoming your problems, surrounding yourself with people that are going to believe in you. I think that's so, so important. That's my first transformational experience. I can really tell, that, re, tell you that it really, really helped and developed me was surrounding myself with people that think like me, that can support me on the journey. And sometimes maybe two or three steps ahead of me. But that's fine because that's what I need. That will help me up to the next part that I want to achieve. So I ensure that those people are constantly around me in whatever I endeavor to do. I have people around me that can help me move, move me on. And they believe in me. 
And I want to hear that because we're human and sometimes, sometimes get love in the morning's heart, especially when it's cold and it's dark. But we have to do it. That's where the discipline comes, the determination, the dedication, the diligence. That's where that comes from. But it's important to do it because mindset is the subconscious mind that's been conditioned by the body until you've been through the pain until you've been in the foot in chaos and understanding that feels uncomfortable but you're having to get up to deal with it you can't talk about persistence and resilience because you don't know it you don't understand it you haven't been through it but once you start to walk down that road it becomes more familiar with it and the foot that you place in the chaos side of your yin and yang foot that you place there you begin to believe and once you begin to believe it begins to shape your life because you've surrounded yourself with people that believe in you that tell you you can do it and your strength in your own belief system becomes stronger and stronger and stronger like a table with four very strong legs you could put three or four people on that table sitting there the table's not going to crash because it's got good support systems you believe in yourself you've got people that are reinforcing that belief in you that is transformational i hope this little come on to this group will make you think about the belief systems that you've put in place. Because I know for a fact, unless you have the right mindset, you're not going to achieve the things that you want to achieve in life. And that's why having a belief system is so important to your success for wherever it is that you want to go. So I wish you well on your journey. And the people within this group, these can help you within your belief system. You can share things with confidence because I want the group to be a safe zone where you can share things, things that you want to achieve and maybe share your experience and people want to share their experience with you. So you help move one another forward. For me, that's exactly what this group is about. A safe place where you can reach out and people will offer you that support to help you move forward. So I want you to have a good evening. I want you to work on your belief system and move yourself forward. Till next time, what I want to talk about, transformational experience too. I hope you have a great week.